Fear of being a failure, that's one thing. Fear of being a fraud, being a fake, being a forgery, that's another thing entirely. When people are afraid that they're not really the real deal, something's going on in their self-concept where they won't allow themselves to incorporate and accept and merge with the success that they've had. I've talked to people incredibly flexible, incredibly creative, incredibly talented, and if things came too easy for them, they feel like, oh, it's that. Uh, I, that's just something I can do. And in a way, there's something just about that because what they want to do in some way is work hard to earn what they've done and feel like they really had to sweat and engage, that they really want it to be what they've done to really be an achievement, which to means to, to overcome obstacles. And if things come too easy and they're quite talented, they are reluctant to give themselves credit. It's almost as if they disown or disparage the talent and the gift that was involved. And yet they may act on it, but they never somehow really embrace that it was an achievement. If this sounds familiar to, familiar to you in some way, then I think in addition to what you've done that's come easy, there's another direction you should go to fill out your achievement card, which is maybe to do some things where what you're doing is a gift to people. Not necessarily if you're very adept at being a music musician, you go play music everywhere and do benefits. More like working in a soup kitchen. More like volunteering to help young kids learn math. More like being available for something that isn't gonna necessarily make you another 50 million but makes a difference to people's lives because maybe then you'll be giving of yourself where it isn't just easy, but it goes deep into you and you share eye to eye with another person or you express something where you don't get accolades necessarily, you're just one more volunteer. The Sufis have a practice which is called secret charity. Secret charity is thought to be an exercise that someone can do no matter at what level development they're operating. And here's what secret charity is. It's to do something for someone in which the person who receives from you doesn't know that you or anybody else has helped them out and yet you do provide them with some kind of material assistance. And you design the situation so that you don't get to see the delight in their eye when they see that thing done. So it's giving without receiving in any way. It's the opposite of giving and getting a plaque and that's okay if you wanna do that. But this is something where you give and the gift that you give of yourself is entirely a secret. I think this is a way out of being in that sense that what you've done is not that significant because it's come easy. Now there are other kinds of sources of feeling like a fraud that have to do with just being new at something, of this being your first launch at something, of you taking your first swipe and you're charging a fee and you feel a little anxious because it's new. And you know, when, when am I making a film? And then when do I say I'm a filmmaker? It's like somewhere you have to do it long enough or feel like you are that in some way. So I'm thinking with you that if you're feeling like a fraud, check in on whether it's something that's still new for you. But if it's just because you've done something repeatedly without a lot of effort, Find something that maybe taxes different aspects of you. Not just your talents or your whiz-bang abilities, but something about giving from the heart and being of service to other people. I think you'll find that that's an antidote to those fears of being a fake. Fears of being a fraud, a sham, not the real thing. 
There's no pulling your wool, the wool over the eyes of anybody when you're there to be of service to someone else. Since you're a high achiever, you may know about this. High achievers often hit a wall. They're going along, they're having one success after another, and then suddenly something happens and they grind to a halt. And it's confusing because they're not sure what it is they've done wrong, if it's anything. They just know that they're not moving anymore the way they're used to moving, the way they have moved in the past. If you've run into like what seems like a ceiling over you and you're kind of in a fog and you're mystified as to what's getting in your way, you can even kind of slide into a swirl of doubts and wonder if you've ever really achieved anything significant at all. And whether any of your amazing achievements that you've done were anything but kind of fronting or a little bit of a fraud. That is really negative and pernicious and it doesn't have to be that way. I want you to go get a free report from me. Go to drkenchristian.com forward slash breakthrough and receive from me this free report with action steps that are gonna tell you exactly what to do now to get you going.